Maybe you've shared the viral video of Kimberly Sweet Brown Wilkins telling a reporter after nearly escaping apartment fire, ain't nobody got time for that, as we all recall that one. Perhaps you posted that meme of supermodel Tyra Banks exploding in anger on America's Next Top Model. I was rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. Or maybe even Michael Jordan crying, one of my favorites. and uh, Or Rue Paul, drag queen, declaring... Uh, what does that say? I don't even know. Gr- girl? girl. Girl. Okay, I thought it was an I for a second. I was like, Gurry. What? Um, nobody's sharing that one. CNN just had to sh- had to show their support for transvestites, I guess. Uh, Antoine Dodson, too. That's we a good one now. Yeah. yeah. If you're black and you shared such images online, you get a pass. But if you're white, you may have inadvertently perpetrated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism. So now it's only white. I find that interesting. If you're black, you get a pass. Nobody else is mentioned, but but if you're Native American, no, they don't. <laughs> they don't say that. Just, you may be wearing crazy. digital blackface. This is crazy. This what is, is digital blackface, Eric? Why don't is, you tell us? It's well, it's completely made up by this weirdo establishment. It's nothing. It doesn't mean it's. You can't. You're not allowed to make a joke now, right? We saw. And this is, you know, maybe not apples to apples, but Lil Nas X a week or two ago who made a joke about the Transformers. So it's it's basically eliminating el- eliminating your ability to to joke and laugh and have fun. That's all. This, this is, is uh, and we'll read on, but this is part of my ever growing theory that this is an attempt to underhandedly or backhandedly take black people out of culture. So now all of a sudden, let's go by American statistics. You have over 60% of these people using memes of a race that isn't theirs. Oh, my God. And now all of a sudden, you're eliminating 60% of people from using memes for a race that isn't theirs, thus not including them in culture and banter. But nothing about woman face. Nothing about a man pretending to be a woman. No, you're allowed to use drag queens just if you share the same skin color as them which is, of course, insanity that we didn't believe in until 10 minutes ago. What are you sending me here, bud? It's just an old, very, like, I knew this, like, I I did a little research while you were reading, and Mm -hmm. you can see some from 2020, some articles from 2021. So, this, I mean... Uh, 2020. Yeah. So, they're just circling the wagons back around, eh? Exactly. Digital blackface is a practice where white people, you don't have to capitalize white. I'm sorry. Um, I know that. These oh, 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 you noticed. I, sorry. I, cause we had that discussion about the, the equestrian and they weren't capitalizing. <laughs> they weren't capitalizing the W and white. And I totally forgot about that, but Hey, yeah. The, hey, you know, I'm all for the equality. Is it equity, equality? Whatever. It's really odd for this person to be, you know, calling, memes blackface but then going out of their way to capitalize white when their associate press only says you have to do it for black i choose to do it for none of them because it's a color and therefore does not need to be capitalized so on co-opting online expressions of black imagery slang catchphrases or culture to convey comic relief or express emotions unbelievable these expressions what one commentator calls racialized reactions this is so stupid and yeah. the only reason I want everybody to know our growing audience of millions and trillions, <laughs> I want everyone to know that the reason why we share this stuff is not because it, it deserves to be shared. It's because the normies, as it were, need to know this type of stuff exists because, you know, um, especially tr- pro trans activists will say that, um, you know, nobody is trying to convert children or nobody nobody's trying to do this and that and, and nobody's pushing it on you. It's just the right wing media pretending that it's being pushed because they want to fear monger. We show this sort of stuff so that, you know, this does happen. CNN's a giant co- company, especially online. CNN and Fox put out the most articles of anyone I know because I read them every day. Um, whereas websites like Yahoo or MSN, all they do is aggregate. So they put out a lot of stuff, but it's not their own stuff. CNN and Fox are like the number one written content on the American online media. And a lot of the time CNN is pretty straight shooting in their writing. Of course, the topics and the angles are inherently biased as everybody's is, but for their written content, you should take their written content versus their TV content 99 out of a hundred times. Um, can I just mention so for, 
Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, well, I was gonna say, uh, like you you said about the trans activists and like how it's not really happening, and we're you know we're showing that this is actually happening, right? We can go back to just last week with the hockey thing, and and one of the like one of the hockey reporters like, it's not a it's not forcing you to adopt a, an an ideology, and it's like mm-hmm. that's literally exactly what they're forcing <laughs> you to do. <laughs> like that's lit- like yeah. they're I mean the the I'm getting off track here. The cake baker, all this stuff, they are 100 percent forcing you to adopt their ideology. That's literally exactly what it is. He says that's not the case. And just by him saying that is enough to make it true. That's what they do. Is just by the by the it coming out of their mouth, their brain is enough to make it true. It doesn't get questioned. Yeah. And I'd like to point out for our viewers on Getter that it's constantly messing up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um so switch on over to YouTube or Twitch or Twitter if you're having trouble. So um, we're sharing it to you to show you that this stuff does exist and it comes from gigantic outlets. So digital blackface involves, they're saying, this isn't me, white people play acting at being black, says Lauren Michelle Jackson, an author and cultural critic. So a cultural critic um, is not a real job. I just like to throw that out there. In an essay for Teen Vogue. So they're pushing it on children. Teen Vogue is an extremely woke magazine for kids probably just a website now probably seven people a day buy it across the continental u.s and it used to be you know like tiger beat or something that they just push celebrities on children they had to take the turn like time magazine and like and so many outlets rolling stone once trump became in office because you know they the the powers would be they turn that switch that knob up to 11 where it's like propagate propagandize and they had to turn it up so that's what they are Jackson they says the internet up to 35. They turned <laughs> past 11, bro. Uh, she says the internet thrives on white people laughing at exaggerating displays, exaggerated displays of blackness, reflecting a tendency among some to see black people as walking hyperbole. Uh, no, I don't know anybody who's ever said that. I don't know anybody, any one of my friends who are white that has ever sent a meme. And the sentiment was about, the person being black, it was about what the meme means. So when you send a uh, Kermit the Frog sipping the tea, it's not about the fact that he is a Muppet, actually. It is about the fact that he, you know, presenting the idea that they're spreading gossip. So you can go as far as that. Um, you can think of any white person meme. You can think of an Arnold Schwarzenegger meme. You can think of, oh, there's so many memes. I mean, the there's H&M millions aliens- of- Ancient, Ancient aliens, aliens guy yeah. has a good one. He's Greek. Like there's billions of memes. There's nothing to do with the fact Steve? that he's Greek. Scumbag you remember, Steve. You remember him? Uh, oh my God, Pokemon's girl. Like these people are white. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're white. And just like that has nothing to do with the fact that um, sandwich by uh, Gordon Ramsay, the sandwiches of bread. <laughs> there's That's so many. <laughs> I don't know how much more we need to read about this girl. Uh, displays of emotion stereotyped as excessive so happy so sassy so ghetto so what's wrong with being so happy or so sassy um so ghetto like what do you what do you mean by ghetto writer or critic or whoever you are like what do you mean by that do you mean black people as ghetto or do you mean what the rest of us mean which is like trashy and like wild and poor that sort of stuff because i can show you some people from where i grew up that aren't black that uh are trashy so what do you mean by that and they're this is a, a lot of the time the problem is that when people have something to say about you can't call somebody gay or you can't call them uh an r word let's say since it's still the beginning of the video uh, first 10 minutes of the video if you say something like that and you're offended by that then i would ask you what do you what does that word make you think of in order to take yeah. offense to it because when when something gets called gay uh 99 of people don't think of you know, homosexual or lesbian people, they think of, you know, more of an old timey version of something weird or uncool. It has nothing to do with this, the sexuality of the person. And that's like something that the new generation of reporters and stuff have tried to eliminate from society. Like, well, what's the problem with being gay? Anderson Cooper said one time, nobody has a problem with that. Not so that they there's anything these, wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> um, they, they were, they create these problems that never existed so that they can narrow the scope of language and control it more and more. And that's what they're doing here. Um, rarely are black characters afforded subtle traits or feelings. They're saying like, what are you talking about? You're analyzing memes here. Well, it's like it, analyzing a cartoon. 